Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to my What I Eat in a Week. I've never done one of these before. I'm gonna show you everything I eat throughout the week. Maybe a little bit of meal inspiration. Show you what a very realistic, typical week is like for me. First up, I always fill a glass of water in the morning. And I do take some supplements. These change currently. I'm taking two apple cider vinegar pills in the morning. I mentioned this in another video. I bought these like two years ago and never took them. And so I'm finally just taking them because the other option is to throw them away. I really don't think they do anything crazy, but I have them. So I'm just like going through them. So I'm not like trying to like speak crazy highly or negatively of these, I guess. But lately I've been taking these when I wake up. The other thing that's in here is two omega pills, but I'll take these a little bit later in the day because they absorb better when you do have food in your stomach. However, every morning after I have some water and whatever supplements, I do like to get either some sort of fiber product, some sort of greens product, whatever in my stomach. I'm almost out of this one, so I'm trying to finish this up. It's by Bellway. It is their super fiber in fruit. Fiber is so good for gut health and digestion. It's just something you need. It helps with your fullness, like it cleans your intestines. I don't know, I just feel like sometimes if you don't actively try to get fiber, you might not be getting enough and you could be missing out. So I always try to have some every morning. And my favorite part of probably the entire day is protein coffee first. I'm just gonna put a little bit of milk in a mug. I don't like to eat when I wake up on weekday mornings. I know a lot of people don't, and it's not good to have coffee on an empty stomach, so this is my way of getting some substance in my body and trying to compromise on that whole, I don't wanna eat, but I want coffee thing. I'm gonna heat this up. I've heard a lot of conflicting things about oat milk recently. Like I've seen a lot of slander on it, but I do make my own oat milk at home. So I'm thinking that doesn't necessarily apply to me, but maybe it does. Because I'm not really sure if the slander comes from the oats itself or the process of making the milk or both. Regardless, let me know your thoughts. But I'll add a full scoop of protein in to the milk. Currently I'm using pumpkin spice. This is obviously seasonal. When it's not, I use caramel latte because how perfect is that? By First Form, they have the best flavors and it mixes in so nice. And then I'll brew a double shot of espresso right over top. I'm starting my day off with 25 grams of protein. I'm replacing like sugary dairy creamers I would normally have. This is just the best stuff. And protein coffee is definitely one of my favorite things and one of my favorite habits that I do. Like I make this every single morning as you'll see. I don't follow any sort of diet. I really just try to eat the rainbow, incorporate all food groups, and I do try to eat high protein. Sometimes I track my protein, sometimes I don't. So nothing super like crazy strict or any rules. I don't, I don't do any of that, which is good in my opinion. <laughs> That's what works for me. Let's have a good week. Happy Monday. A very typical breakfast for me is a Greek yogurt. This is light and fit strawberry cheesecake flavor. There's 12 grams of protein in it, which is great. And I'll add some homemade granola. I can link this granola recipe. Like on a normal week or day, I just never want a crazy big breakfast and Greek yogurt is great for your tummy. So this is good. Mm. And I brought my water bottle down to refill for the day. I'll for sure drink at least one full one of these. I really need to clean it. We don't clean our water bottles often enough. That is for sure. Well, at least speaking for myself. I'm having lunch out today because Sweet Green is coming to Madison and they're having like a soft launch. So I signed up early and I get to go have a free bowl, which is exciting. So I'm trying Sweet Green for the first time ever for lunch today. And I'm very excited because I've heard great things. I didn't film a ton at Sweet Green. I went with a friend, so that was fun. And I got the Harvest Bowl. I've never had Sweet Green ever, and it was so good. The Harvest Bowl has roasted chicken, roasted sweet potatoes, apples, goat cheese, roasted almonds, warm wild rice, shredded kale, and balsamic vinaigrette. It was so tasty. I will be going back. Dinner tonight is breakfast for dinner. 
The final plate is we just have a piece of wheat toast with avocado, everything but the bagel, and eggs, bacon, and sausage. This is always just such an easy dinner, especially because we always have these ingredients in the house. I had kind of a late lunch at Sweet Green, so I didn't want something super intense, but I did have a lot of veggies earlier. So now we're checking out the protein box for dinner, that's for sure. Healthy bats with the avocado. I worked out and showered tonight. I'm going to make a little chia seed drink. I'm just gonna put one tablespoon in there, fill it with water, and let it sit for 15 minutes. Chia seeds are really good for you. I don't make this every night, just kind of whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel like I need a little boost, whatever. I honestly find that I typically don't eat as much on Mondays as other days of the week. Like I feel like Monday, I'm still processing from the weekend and I'm just not as hungry. At least the past few weeks, that's been the pattern. While that's waiting though, I'm gonna take some magnesium. I still don't know if I think this does much or not. If you take magnesium, let me know why and what you like about it. Has been a little bit. So now I'm gonna add some liquid IV to the mix. Today is sugar-free white peach. I have mixed feelings about their sugar-free ones. To be honest, I wish they just did a low sugar instead of a sugar-free. Maybe they will in the future. Regardless, I drink liquid IV very often and I'll sip on this and then finish getting ready for bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Tuesday. It is so gloomy out. Starting the day the same way as yesterday. This just makes me so happy. I was really thinking I'd make a smoothie bowl today. It sounds great, but that's just, not gonna lie, it's more work than I wanna commit to right now. So when I say I have this most days, I'm not lying. It's easy, it's quick, it's good, and it's not too heavy. Sometimes I just don't want a ton of food until lunchtime. See you at lunch. I am craving a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so that is what we're having for lunch. I always keep my bread in the freezer though, so I have to throw it in the toaster, and I always buy some sort of whole wheat and try to get the sugar free. Using Crazy Richard's 100% peanuts peanut butter. It's great because when you look at the ingredients, like it literally just says peanuts. <laughs> so obviously we love that. And I have strawberry jelly. This is from a small like local place in the UP that I got this summer. I know jams and jellies tend to have a lot of sugar, but sometimes you just gotta do it. That's why it's nice that I have like a sugar-free bread. Balance, right? <laughs> Peanut butter and jellies, you cut them this way. Grilled cheeses, you cut them diagonal. That's just how it works. And to make this plate a little better, we will add some color. Oh no, the green beans are going bad. We'll do what we can. Sometimes a solid PB&J just hits like nothing else will. Let's take shots. No, I'm kidding. What I mean by that is I just filmed this like ad thing and I made these like little health shots for it. So I wanna take another one with you. All it is is two oranges. Two lemons. I cut up a ginger root, threw in some turmeric, honey, and pepper, blended her up. I'll insert the short form footage if you want to see it, but it's like vertical. That's why I wasn't gonna like put the whole process in the video. Blend it up, strain it, and jar it, and shot it. Shoot it. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. But good for you, you know? Vitamin C. And I think turmeric and ginger are really good anti inflammatory things, so they're good for your tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon shot. Hour. It's happy hour in this house today. <laughs> I think tomorrow we'll get into making actual recipes, but I still have stuff to eat from this weekend in my fridge. So this is more of like what I will kind of whip up to, you know, clean out the fridge. Just when you have a bunch of random stuff in your fridge. I am going to take one of these pitas and I really like throwing them in the air fryer and then it makes the pocket, you know, and putting stuff in it like a little sandwich. I love this. And then a very easy side salad to throw together to get in some veggies and when you don't have like any good dressing at home is I'll just throw a bunch of spring mix in a bowl, olive oil. I would love to throw in tomatoes, but I don't have any tomatoes. <laughs> we don't have like no groceries in the house, but I'm just trying to use up some stuff. But I'll add on Parmesan cheese and hopefully this kind of sticks to the oil and like disperses, you know? Some Italian seasoning and a few croutons. I know this is literally like not much to a salad, especially from the good salad I had yesterday, but this is just a side salad, right? and I need more greens in my life today. So it's a very simple way to get them in. I heated up the pita probably a little bit too long, but there's a pocket, which is so cool. And I also threw the meatballs in the microwave. They're like a honey barbecue. They're really good. And here is tonight's balance. Not bad, honestly. I make these meatballs a lot of times as an appetizer. I got the recipe on Pinterest, so I'll link it. 
I just did a resistance band workout. I certainly did not get enough protein in today. So I'm having a scoop of this. It's by First Form, just like the protein coffee I drink every morning. That's also by First Form. However, this is a different type of protein. Basically the one I take in the morning, it's like slow releasing. So it's kind of like meal replacement. So it's supposed to be one that like keeps you full or longer, whatever. This one is supposed to be like a quick digesting one because it's supposed to be really good for post-workout and recovery. I'll link them, of course. I just like love learning about this stuff. 21 grams of protein. My guess is so far today I got around 70 grams, so this will make it closer to 100 at least. See you tomorrow. We're actually gonna make something tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Empty. Cheers. <sighs> Spicy. Smoothie bowl for breakfast. I am craving one. I'm very excited. First, a banana. It's like the perfect ripeness where it's really sweet and soft, but not a gross. I always share. Come here, dogs. Get it? I don't have any like acai or smoothie bowl packs in my freezer right now, but that's totally fine. I'm just gonna throw fruit in. Strawberries. Blueberries. And I will do some spinach because you can't taste it. Get in those greens and just some water. Not too much though, because I want it to be a bowl, so I'm really hoping the consistency is kind of thick. And then just for more protein, I am gonna heat up two breakfast sausages. Three lengths is seven grams, so I don't know, it's like four and a half grams. And I didn't put any protein powder in here, so the only protein in my breakfast will be the sausages, and I am gonna add some sort of nut butter for a topping. It is a little thin, but that's okay. I didn't leave any fruit out for topping. I love this stuff so much, but I'm pretty sure First Form is either sold out of it or discontinued it. I don't know. I will link it if they have it, but last time I tried to order it, they didn't. It's cinnamon roll nut butter. Oh my goodness, it's literally so good and perfect for these smoothie bowls. And this will be about 10 grams of protein here. And of course, I will add granola. I am honestly so excited for this breakfast. We have protein, we have some good carbs to get my day started, energy, and a whole lot of tastiness. Honestly, the smoothie bowl would be better if I did have one of those either acai or like dragon fruit packs, but regular smoothie, so good. Today's lunch is going to be a big tuna salad. The macros in tuna are insane, not to sound like a total gym bro, but they are. I don't have this too often though, because tuna can be something that grosses me out. If I have it too often, just like eggs. It's only 90 calories for a whole can and it's 20 grams of protein and it gives you a lot of like vitamins and stuff. It's it's good. And then I will add some light mayo. Light mayo really is not that bad. Dijon mustard, which is super light. Normally I would like to add red or purple onions, celery, and tomatoes. However, all I have actually is some white onions. So I'm just gonna, oh, they're bad. Oh no. Okay, no onions. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Apparently I didn't plan this very well. But like I said, part of this is to show you good meals, but also I want this video to be very realistic, right? Like I don't have everything planned out to the T every moment. However, I do still live by eating healthy is way easier when you do plan it out. Like I would get a little bit more joy out of this meal if I were to have the mix-ins, right? And that's fine that I don't today. I'm gonna throw some spring mix in here and a few croutons. I love croutons. I always use a larger bowl for salads because if I use a regular bowl, it just makes the biggest mess. So I don't fill it to the top, but it's like they're so voluminous that it just, Small bowls don't work. Because I don't have as many veggies in here as I would like, I am gonna snack on some of these carrots. Today is one of those days where I'm really in the mood for an afternoon coffee. The most perfect iced coffee glass. So I will brew an iced coffee pod. And in the frother, we will put pumpkin spice creamer and oat milk. Froth it on the cold setting. So good. Seriously, if you've ever debated buying a Nespresso, it's so worth it. I seriously do not go out and buy coffee, like not often at all. And I used to go all the time. Of course, when the new flavors come out, the holiday drinks, whatever, I'll go. But you can do so much at home with an espresso. Top five purchases I've made in the past 10 years. Dinner tonight is one of my favorite things ever. Chicken pot pie. I threw chicken in the oven 
Let's start the rest. I want to make a little snack <laughs> or beverage for a while I cook. Chicken pot pies really aren't that hard to make and I love them so much. And they're not the like healthiest thing in the world, but they're not bad either. There is some great stuff in there. Tastes like a peach ring, like that candy, you know? I love to prep and measure all the ingredients beforehand. Number one, it makes me feel like I'm on a cooking show. But number two, it makes everything else go so much faster. Also, if you don't have one of these veggie chopper things, literally like around 20 bucks on Amazon, it is so worth it. It saves you so many tears from onions and just so much work in general. I'm gonna use the big pan from Caraway. They have the best pans. Number one, I love the color. Number two, non toxic, non stick. Number three, just everything. Perfect. I'll link them. They have sales all the time too. They usually have a discount code. I'll put all that in the description box. And this is just a Pinterest recipe. I will link this one as well. Then we add onions and carrots. Eight minutes, starting now. Now we add some garlic. This is also a game changer. It took me too long to finally invest in one of these things. Next goes flour and chicken stock and heavy cream. I make my own with just milk and butter because I never feel like buying the whole container at the grocery store because I never need that much. Now it must thicken. It smells so good. And parsley. Beautiful. It looks beautiful and it smells even better. Perfect golden brown. It's always so hard to dish up because like once you cut it, it oozes out, you know, but I'm so excited. First one of the season. That was good. One of my favorite foods. We have the Opti Greens by First Form mixed with the Opti Reds by First Form. I'm starting the day with something good. I'm getting veggies in. It's good for digestion. Good to get fiber in your body too. It's also honestly a mental thing for me too because if I'm doing these things, things that make me feel good, I'm more likely to keep making good decisions. Happy Thursday. Cheers. Wake up a bit. So this is what I'm feeling. The Greek yogurt I have on hand is strawberry cheesecake. Then we'll do some strawberries. And greens. Good amount because you can't taste them. Mmm. This is good. This is really good. And it's good for me. I got the greens. I got the yogurts really good. I got the fruit. I didn't add any protein powder because I don't like to have too much protein powder. I like to at least get some of it from other sources. But there's at least 12 grams in here, which is exciting. And I am going to heat up, I think, two breakfast sausages. This is my balanced breakfast. And now is a good time for me to take the omega pills. That's the stuff, man. Snack lunch. We have pretzels, plain goat cheese, but I put everything but the bagel seasoning over top, and some carrots, and an iced coffee. I don't regret that second coffee, but I know that I shouldn't have had it. I am overwhelmed. I am hopped up on caffeine and cannot focus. I literally, like, like I just, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes that second coffee sends me over the edge, and that's why I don't do it every day, but I did it today. And yes, it tasted amazing, but now I'm, like, reaping the consequences. Um, so I'm gonna have a protein bar. I feel like I need some more food in my body. Level one protein bar, cookie dough. Mm mm mm. <laughs> I love coffee. Mm, sexy. Obviously, more chicken pot pie for dinner. I'm literally pumped. Good morning. Happy Friday. Some greens and some reds. Best part of the day. Friday coffee. It's different. Classic breakfast today. You'll never guess. Yogurt. <laughs> Greek yogurt. My smoothie was really good yesterday. I just don't want something that filling, to be honest. Some granola. And we're gonna do some more breakfast sausage. I don't always have these in the freezer, but I've just had them now, so 
I've been eating them to not only add more protein to my breakfast, but also this is very sweet, right? So we have a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. So I didn't learn my lesson from yesterday because <laughs> I'm making another coffee. <laughs> It's like late morning and I just I have a lot of emails and stuff I got to answer I just would really like to be sipping on a coffee while doing it. I'm just doing like a plain coffee Not a latte or anything crazy. I just need to make sure to drink up on my water and maybe that'll help I have a full belly of food I'm trying to do this right Good news, the second cup of coffee did not send me into a spiral like it did yesterday. So that's great, but it's lunchtime. I literally have not changed out of my pajamas yet. Like, I slept in this. It's been a very chill day, just getting lots of work done on my computer. Lunch today, I'm thinking another one of those pita breads, but making it grilled cheese style. But I'm literally just gonna throw it in the pocket and throw it in the air fryer for a few minutes. I just hope it doesn't spill out like crazy. And I'm also gonna do a plain, simple little side salad like I made the other day. Olive oil, which is a good healthy fat, I think. Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and some crouton. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about the water or the omegas, I know you're worried. The grilled cheese looks amazing. We'll add a carrot. Look at this balance. Grilled cheese is definitely another top food for me. So good. I definitely notice on days where I just have a lot of straight up computer work to do, I want to like snack more and like kind of bored eat. So I already had a second coffee, but I remembered I bought this kombucha the other day. So it's a perfect time to open it up and drink it while I get more work done. It's GT's flavor is a watermelon wonder. Very good for your gut health, I believe. I'm also realizing I didn't take that health shot this morning. Why do I keep forgetting about those? I'm, I'm gonna take it now, why not? Cheers. I think when the temperature is really cold, it helps it go down a lot easier because it almost takes a little bit away from the spice from the turmeric. Last night of chicken pot pies, very sad, but also still yummy. So hot. Whew, so good. I've kind of decided I want to drink less. I just do a lot of stuff with friends that involves drinking, which is totally fine. It's a good problem to have. Like if I didn't have friends, I would barely drink at all. However, it kind of just sets you back a little, like it's totally fine to socially drink, but I think I just want to do it a little bit less so I can focus on myself and my goals a little bit more. So tonight we're going to watch the game, but I'm bringing a liquid IV with me. So I have a fun drink, but it's good and <laughs> non-alcoholic, because why not? Also, I wanted the mental fog, or we like to call it the anxiety the next day, and that's another variable of how it can set you back, right? Not that it's just not good for you in the moment, but I don't know, it's harder to get shit done the next day, so. I'm still gonna drink, but I'm gonna try to set a little bit more boundaries. That was a pretty typical full week of eats. Not perfect, but pretty balanced. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.